Hey, 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 you guys. It's me, Mystic B, and I'm here to do another general energy reading. I want to say welcome to all of my new love bugs, and I want to say what's up to all of my A1 day ones. I want to say thank you guys for all of your continued love, support, and loyalty. It means so much to me. Thank you guys for being patient with me over the past um, like week or so. I was like under the weather, and I was really trying to shake back or whatever. So, um, sorry about the noise in the background, you guys. It is so windy in Texas tonight. Texas. Texas, Texas. All right. All right, Holy Spirit. Do I need to stage these cards? Because I feel like I need to stage these cards. Also, you guys, I'm still waiting on my winner for last week's raffle to get at your girl. I got I got your I got your band waiting on you. I got your thousand dollars waiting on you. Okay, so make sure you're checking out my Instagram. And I uploaded it as a short on my channel. The winner, you guys. If y'all know her, tell her Mystic is looking for her with her money, with her money, okay? All right, and those of you guys that are interested in participating, the tickets are only $1.11, okay? And if you don't really just want to participate, but you would like to be a blessing to someone because, you know, whatever you put out there comes back to you tenfold, the tickets are only $1.11, you guys. So, all right, let's just jump into it. Also, you guys, I got some bomb zodiac necklaces coming in i'm gonna post um i'm gonna post them on my community board and i'm gonna take pre-sales orders for them and you can go ahead and reserve your necklace before before the package reach me but i think i'm gonna slide me one out for myself because i really like it y'all know i love gaudy i love gaudy type of jewelry okay so be on the lookout for that family and tribe okay so you guys may be spending a lot of time focusing on your family right now. Or this could be a family situation. You guys may actually have a family with this person. I'm not going to lie. Also, I'm feeling more like um, ancestor type of energy as well. So a lot of you guys, your ancestors are really close on you. They're watching you very closely. What else, spirit? You even have some type of protection animal around you as well. Home is here. So no, this, this also... Talk something. This is talking about something dealing with your home life, a home situation. Um, you guys, some of you guys may be going home, traveling home. Some of you, some of you guys just received a phone call from back home. If you're not home, like let's just say if you like, I'm from Louisiana, but I live here in Texas. I got a phone call. Like some of you guys may get a phone call. Some I heard something troubling. Um, some of you guys could have received a phone call about someone passing away or someone sick or just something just not going, something not right as far as your tribe and family is concerned. Um, whatever the case is, I'm sending you love and light, positive energy. I'm sending you a protection aura for you and your family. Okay? And amen. So Mount it be. All right. Let's see. Yeah, have faith. So spirit is calling for you guys to have faith, okay? Whatever the situation is, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really feeling like this is something dealing with family, okay? They want you guys to have faith. It's very, very important that you guys keep the faith. Make sure your faith is strong, okay? Yeah, and be patient. I just heard the faith of a mustard seed. So just it just takes a little bit of faith, you guys, okay? Put that positive energy out there, Everything is going to be just fine. You guys may be going, also going through some type of tough cycle in your life, and it has you guys worried. Um, you don't, you feel like you're not going to make it out of this cycle, but spirit has your back. Dreams is here, so you guys are maybe spending a lot of time resting, or you needing to get some type of rest. Okay, I just said something about a spirit animal, so you guys got a. There's a very powerful spirit animal, uh, possibly a cat. Because there's like a black and white tiger and a brown and white tiger here um, that she's resting on this tiger. So, yeah. You guys are very protected. I don't know who needs to hear that, but you just feel like things... I just heard the weight of the world. 
you know, the weight of the world is on your shoulder. Some of you guys may be alchemists or you need to practice alchemy. You need to research what is an alchemist because that's your area. That's something that you're supposed to be getting into. Some of you guys may be afraid of getting into that field, but do not run from your life path, darling. Okay. Because it will chase you. <laughs> look, look, your life path and your, your purpose in life is the one thing that will chase you, will chase you down. Okay. Yes. So, all right. So now that we got the general energy out of the way, let's go ahead and actually get into what is popping with your love life. Okay. What is going on? What is going on with my beautiful collective in their love life? What do I want to start with? Do I want to start with some wild truth? Yeah. Let's see what the general energy is. What is the wild truth? You guys, these are my wild truth oracle deck. You guys can find these cards in any of my um, divine trinkets on my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box. Mm. I used to see you as an option. Now I see you as the one. Okay, don't that seem to be like the reoccurring thing as, you know, someone treating you like an option, making you feel like, you know, you're disposable and they can find better than you or I don't know. Crack is a powerful drug, isn't it? Yeah. This person definitely had to be snoring a white line, riding the white horse to think that they were going to find better than you. You guys are a real gem, I'm hearing. All right, Spirit, go ahead and give me more messages for the collective. Tell me the truth. What is going on? I have to control my sexual urges when I'm around you. This person, they can't control themselves when they're around you. They, they feel like... I don't know. You guys have a, if you've been intimate with this person, things could get really wild really quick with this individual. I feel like you guys have a very, very strong sexual connection with this person. Like the chemistry is just off the charts. Past life karmic causing current life interruptions. So there is a karmic energy, you guys. This karmic energy has followed you guys from the last reincarnation to this reincarnation, okay? When I say karmic energy, um, it could be anybody. Okay, when I have past life dreams and I see karmics, they look different in each life because they take on a different avatar, but the energy is the same, okay? Like I've bumped into people in this lifetime that spirit told me that they're a karmic and spirit would go, will also show me a past life, show me a past life where that same karmic energy was interrupting or causing problems in my life. Well, guess what? They, look, they looked different but the energy was the same. I could look in their eyes and I could feel the energy and tell, oh, wow, it's you. You're the same karmic energy. So you guys, there is a, and I heard mutual, this is you and this person's karmic energy. I, I wonder why, like, why are you guys sharing a karmic energy? That's normally, it's like one or the other. I know I sabotaged this connection. I had to do something to protect my heart from you and from love. So this person purposely, is causing your person is purposely uh, allowing this karmic energy to interrupt this connection. I'm so obsessed with you. I can't stop watching you and stalking you. I tell myself that I'm going to stop, but I can't. But this person also has some type of sick, twisted obsession with you as well. Give me another message, spirit. Thank you. I don't want to break your heart again, so I stay away. So I stay away from you and stalk you constantly. Okay, so that's why they're doing this. This person feels like they're not prepared or they're not ready. It's like they feel safer dealing with this karmic energy who they don't even love. Like they, they there's no attachment to this karmic. And it's just something about your energy that makes this person feel like they owe you more. They would have to invest more to the situation with you. Please let me make it right. Yeah, because yeah, this person, like they feel like they need to make something right with you. I'm hearing they need to make something right. I feel like they owe you more. This is why they stalk you. This is why they stand there. They stay away from you. They keep their distance from you. No one ever set boundaries with me like you did. It took me totally off guard. I've never been challenged before. Hmm. You channel you you challenge this person. Yeah, you guys channel. You, Oh wow. I'm so I'm I'm hurt so I hurt other people. 
So hurt people hurt people. So I, I feel like this person is carrying um, hurt from a previous reincarnation over as well. And there's, I just, I'm going to pull the energy for this karmic. I want to know what's going on with this. I don't want you to be with anyone else. Stop acting cold towards me. You know you still love me because I still love you. So, yeah, this person feel like you're acting like you are um, not bothered by them, like you're no longer interested in them, but you really are interested in them. All right, spirit. Thank you. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so... Either they were married to this karmic in a past life and you could have been the third party. For some of you guys, they were married to this karmic and you were the third party. Yeah, this this is this because the emperor is here. This talks about like a father figure and the queen of cups. Or you could have been married to this person and this karmic was the third party. Somebody was like an interference. See, the thing about it is that this emperor energy has a lot of love for this queen of cups energy, okay? I feel like they had love for you even in this previous lifetime. But for some of you guys, you will know, you could feel it. I feel like this was some um, temptation thing, entanglement stuff that went wrong in the past life. And I feel like this karmic energy is currently coming through interfering in this lifetime. Yeah, I feel like you were this person's wish. So if they were married to this karmic, they, their wish was to be with you. This is someone who they may have kids by this person or they're just like a father figure. They have kids in general. Yeah, this is a two of cups connection between you and them. And I feel like, you know, spirit is trying to guide this person to come towards you. Yeah, spirit is trying to guide this person to come towards you guys, you know. To manifest something new and significant between like a new beginning between you guys. But the thing about it is if they're dealing with a karmic energy that they're married to, they're going to have to do this the right way. And I feel like in the past, if they were married to this person, um, th they could have just been sneaking around with you or vice versa. What is this Ten of Pentacles energy? That's not everybody's story. You will know. Yeah, there was some there's a there's some type of imbalance in the Ten of Pentacles situation. Something wasn't balanced. Yep, four of wands in reverse. It was marriage. Marriage, okay? Which ended in a divorce or, or needs they need to divorce somebody. Yep, the Emperor's in reverse. This is not their this is not their true love. This is not their um their end all be all. They need to divorce. This is like a fake divine feminine or divine masculine energy. Fake emperor, empress. This is not their match. This is not their equal. They're coming out in the reverse and the emperor's in the upright. I feel like this person has been avoiding this ending for a while. Avoiding making some type of decision. Avoiding some type of ending. Yeah, this person is very stubborn. Very stubborn. This is, this is like... Sitting here not making a move. Also, they view you as being very satisfied with your life, like you're doing good without them. You could be very abundant, very luxurious lifestyle, but there's some type of disconnect. So this person is sitting here, or this could be you sitting here, like not making a move towards this person, allowing you guys to be in this disconnect because, you know, I feel like you guys have put your foot down. You have set boundaries with this person. You've set boundaries with them. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You you guys um, have stated your truth towards this person. You're, this is speaking your truth, some type of cutting truth to this person. You're, you are standing your ground with this person. This person got a lot of love for you, but you just could not allow this person to keep making you feel like an option, running in and out of your life. Yeah. Be expecting some communication coming in from this person, you guys. But the, my only issue is this is it's, it's like the Knight of Wands, yeah, Page of Wands communication. This 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 is fast moving communication. But the problem is that they may be they may leave as quick as they come. Yeah, this somebody that's greedy. 
This person is very protective over you and this energy and y'all connection. But it's like this person want to hold on to the past and hold on to you. And see, this was the issue. This is how this happened in the past life. Yeah, this person was failing to put an end to a marriage uh, that was supposed to be over anyway. Yeah, something that, you know, hmm. So the King of Pentacles talks about stability. This person was failing to take, be a leader, get disciplined, you know, and end that situation. This person want to be stable for you, though. They want to offer stability. Yep, not of Pentacles. But this person feel like you don't, you don't really need them. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is a very self-sufficient person. Like, you got it going on pretty much, you know? You lead a very luxurious lifestyle. You you guys are showing gratitude as well to, you know, to your ancestors, to source, to spirit, to God, whoever you pray to. You guys are showing gratitude. Um, I, heard, I heard Oshun energy for some of you guys. So, some of you guys may be tapping into that type of energy. But you are very secure, okay? I remember I said your ancestors are really, you can lean on your ancestors. They got your back. And this person is feeling very restless. They're not getting any rest. They're burnt out because they're overthinking everything. They're overthinking this offer that they know they're supposed to give you. They're overthinking this. Yeah. And speaking their truth to you. You guys are equal. This is counterpart energy because the king and the queen of swords is here. This is your equal. Yep, six of cups. This is them wanting to make some type of return, needing to return back to you. This also talks about past life. This person knows that they need to return and unbreak your heart. Okay, they need to take these swords out of your heart. They need to fix this situation with you. Because I feel like they've they've left you in this heartbreaking, heartbroken energy for far too long. And they need to make this shit right. Yeah. Old grief moving on. Yeah, you guys are no longer crying over, over this situation anymore. You're no longer crying over what you cannot change. Whatever happened, happened. And because you guys are in this energy, it's like you guys have swapped energy with this person. So it's like now they're the ones that's backstabbed. They're heartbroken. They feel betrayed. They're the ones who want to communicate with you but you're extremely defensive at this time because you feel like this person is still overindulging in third party situations you feel like this person is still out here you know mingling and doing the most you know and you guys have just now gotten balance back into your life you just don't want this indecisive person back in your life even if it is your soulmate even if even if it's your soulmate, if this person's not willing to come through and take these swords out of your heart the way they put them there, you guys are going to stand your ground with this person, King of Swords. You guys are going to stand firm with this person, you know? Yep. Look at that. This is your this is your 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 pair. This this is your equal. This is supposed this is like a divine union. And, and and it's here twice. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This this is here twice. Yep. It's here twice. The King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. The King of Swords and the King and the Queen of Swords. Yeah. This is this is uh this is a divine counterpart. Like you guys were made for each other. And this is why this person's heart is so heavy because they this person was failing to make this right with you. So they're going to miss out on a divine partnership. They're going to miss out. You guys, I'm going to use my Mystic Beast official unofficial. Give me another message for the collective spirit. Thank you. You've healed enough. Now unblock me. So yes, person is like, they want you to take them off the block. Okay, they feel like you've had more than enough time to heal from whatever I did to you. Now unblock me. That's what they want. What else? Thank you. Sex addiction. This person is addicted to you sexually as well. Or they just have uh, underlying sex addiction issues. I think of you constantly. You're always on my mind. And I know I owe you an apology. Just like I said, this person owe you an apology. They're supposed to come in and unbreak your heart the way they broke it. The way they broke it, they're supposed to come through and unbreak it. Okay? But this person is failing to do so. And this is why they're going through. Look, they're, they're failing to release some type of karma. Some type of karmic that has followed you guys over here. 
You know, they're holding on to it. And this is why this person is, they're going, they're grieving. They're going to always be grieving. This shit is never going to end. And I visit you in your dreams. So you guys talk to each other telepathically. They're always around you energetically. Even if you don't see them in your dreams, you feel them. So, all right. Um, this connection has also made you grow spiritually. This is all about spiritual growth. And you know, that's a good thing. So, and I really feel like this is supposed to make your person grow spiritually too, if they were not so stubborn, okay? All right. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Peace.